So let's look how to create a hot disk booking system through Microsoft Teams. We're going to use Microsoft Bookings, which is available in the E3 and E5 licenses. First step is to create our hot desks as users and then to create a shared booking page. I just want to jump into the previous video I had made. It's on YouTube where I had created a sample bookings for our hot desks inside Microsoft Teams next to the calendar. It was great. You could go to create new, add a time frame for your hot desk, put in the details. And here under staff, you could choose which hot desk you wanted to use. So Microsoft has updated the bookings app. Let's see how it looks now. So here I've logged into the portal as an admin and I'm adding a new user. So I need to set up the hot desks as users here. So I've gone hot desk one to six and now I'm adding hot desk seven. And the username is hot desk seven at the domain. We're going to automatically create a password, but here I'm not going to assign any product license. So once they load, we can just skip right down to the end and ignore all of these and choose the bottom one, which is not recommended. But we don't need licenses because these are just placeholders really for our different hot desks that are available. We don't need to put any more information in here. We just cl click through and finish and click on close. So I'll go to the waffle and go to bookings and here I can see this is new for Microsoft. You can have create a personal one or we can create a shared booking page. I've got some existing ones, but well, let's create one from scratch. I'll call it building A and we've got some hot desk options here. So it's asking what business type, what working hours, I'm just putting nine to five. And here I'll invite the staff, which will be my hot desks. So hot desk one. add them in, hot desk two, and so on. Interestingly, that hot desk seven I just added in isn't available here. Now I did wait some time and it didn't show up automatically. I couldn't search the directory, but it's just not available. So what I ended up doing in order for it to be visible here is I went into Outlook, I went to new contacts and I created a new contact card for hot desk seven. And I put the email addresses in as hot desk seven at 365traininghub.co.nz and save and close. Now it's in my address book. We'll add it in in a minute. So I'll click on next. Here we can set up our services. We've got one as a sample. I'll put in a two hour hot desk time slot. It's not going to be an online meeting. And of course I need to change the duration to two hours here. Click on update service. You can have as many services as you want. And we're going to organize this for people in my organization. So it's an internal tool so people can book their hot desks. What I like is that it's accessible from Microsoft Teams. So I've clicked get started here and I can see that I've got the settings available to add more staff in and to create some services. So for services, I can add a new service. We've only got a two hour one at the moment. So let's put in a half day. We'll put in three and a half hours and we can put a buffer time in here. So if people book them back to back, there's five minutes between them or whatever might suit. Save changes. So we can have as many services as we like. We can add an extra full day service in here. So to book the desk out for the full day. Great. Now let's go to staff. I'll add in another staff member who has admin rights. And now I'll add in hot desk seven. Great, it's there now. So I had to add that to the address book for it to show up. So I don't know if that was just an anomaly on my side. Okay, now we'll go back to the bookings page. So I can see all the staff and I can see the services available. So I'm back in Microsoft Teams. I'll go down to the three dots and click on the bookings app. You can right click and choose to pin it. I've already got it pinned here. So we can see personal booking page at the top. We can see my building a hot desk. And if it wasn't in the list, you can search for shared calendar. So on the left hand side, because I've got admin rights, I can actually turn on and off different options here. But let's go to create a new booking. You can see I've got some bookings already in here. I'll go to new booking. I'll choose the service that I want to use. I'll select the date and I can update the time frame. 
and I'll choose Hot Desk 3, that's my favourite one to use. So I'll put my name in here and make sure you put your email address in because we'll be emailed a confirmation and also a reminder. So that's gone into the shared calendar here and if I go back to Outlook I can see that I've been sent an email confirmation. with that detail on it. And for a previous booking, you can see I have a reminder here as well.